Now I have another older art journal to show you. It's not really an art journal. We did not call them art journals back then. This is a sketchbook. It was done in 1973, and I used a lot of pencil in here. You can see I've pulled out from other sketches, too. So I don't know what all I've done here. Oh, this is a, this is a gentleman in class. I was sketching a young man in class. This is his head. He's looking down and taking notes. This is a sketch of a young girl. These are quick sketches. Young girl's heads. Oh, I was in sh took shorthand class. Anybody take shorthand? This is in my shorthand notebook. <laughs> you can see I'd rather draw than take shorthand. I did shorthand sketches. This is a gentleman. More shorthand. And... This is a sketch from the balcony at church. This was, I think this was my roommate sitting here. And we were setting up in the balcony looking down over the congregation. More sketches. I think this was our pastor, our minister at the time. So... <laughs> Not only did I do quick sketches in in uh, shorthand class, I also did quick sketches while listening to the sermon. <laughs> this was a professor. Man in his urban environment. Urban America. Well, I wasn't into urban sketching, but I think it's interesting that I have the term urban on there. This is just a little notepad. Got a sketch of a young lady on there. Line drawing. I haven't seen some of these. Oh, I took a woodworking class. It's another sketch of a young lady. I took a woodworking class. I was never, never really good at it. This saw scared me. But I designed this really beautiful frame. But sadly, I did not have the te technical capability to carry it out like I envisioned it. I would probably do much better with it today, but I kept my notes. I'm not going to show you this because that's some name and address list. That's just a church bulletin. I'm going to pull these loose papers out, show you some of the sketches. Now, this was done in pencil. That's what I had back then. I didn't have a lot of fancy tools. And you can see the pencil has... I did not use a fixative on it. There's two boys chatting in the city background there. Urban sketch. This was our toaster oven. <laughs> I guess when you get desperate, you sketch whatever. And this was a self-portrait. <laughs> I, I was younger then. <laughs> I did wear my hair like that in a flip, though. It was like the laundry. These were some sketches of friends. Just fast sketching. Pencil sketches. I didn't have a lot of, of art media to work with. Another light sketch. It's really fun to look at these. Here's the washing machine, too. <laughs> you know, you, you think college student. We did not own washing machines. We went to the laundromat. And while you waited for your laundry to dry, you sketched the washing machine. That, yeah, that was the washing machine. This is some pottery notes about clay, and glazes. Oh, look, I did some buttons. I like those buttons. 
I didn't revisit these. I did not date them, but I know from the date of the book that it was 1973 that I sketched all these. Look, I had a yellow in here. This is a verse about praying. So I was doing a little Bible art journaling back in my college days. And if you stand praying, forgive, forgive because God has forgiven you. And then I have two people praying and a man standing. Bible art journaling, didn't call it that. More notes, autumn leaves, fall leaves. I had charcoal. More leaves. More notes. <laughs> More sketches. I think this was of my roommate while she was sleeping. So the only way I could get her to pose for me was wait till she went to sleep. <laughs> she is again. Very light line drawings. Here she is in charcoal. She had dark hair. I don't know if she is. She, she would recognize this if she saw my video. Hi. <laughs> here we went to a small town. And I think we were at a laundromat here too. You know, sitting in a chair looking out. It was nighttime. How much of these you are seeing? More friends. So my my sketches were fast sketches. They were not developed drawings. I think I did this one summer. Here we are at the laundromat again. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh, I do too. Look, there's eyeglasses. Abstract. Here's the hair, the hand, and the eyeglasses. This would be the nose. Small town building. Urban sketch. 1973 urban sketch. More class notes. Here we are at the dormitory. College dorm. Looking out the window. Brick. And then the tiled roof and the dorm in the background. More autumn leaves. Oh look, here's another self-portrait of Mary. <laughs> oh, I did wear my hair in a flip like that. Now, well, I've always had bangs. Of course, this is not very realistic, but that's me. More really fast sketches. Look at this one. <laughs> look at this silly face. I'm sure that's nobody. I was just scribbling. Talk about scribbling. I think I was doing autumn leaves again. Late summer. 73. This looked like it might have been an orange or something. Ketchup. Mustard in a napkin tray. Oh, kitchen. I think 1973 kitchen. <laughs> For college students. And then think the garage and the trash barrels. <laughs> I'm bringing back my own memories here. I don't know what that was. It looks like it's an alleyway. This is at the park. There's the trees and some kids. And there was a sailboat and a picnic table. Building, two buildings and trees, fast sketch, urban sketch, bong. <laughs> I'm sure this was, this was probably a, on the campus too. And I know you're all going to ask what campus. It was University of Nebraska. Now the next question is, did you, were you trained in art? I don't have very many good things about my art education at the University of Nebraska, so I'm just going to drop it there because it's in the past. I had a lot of growing pains 
and I did not like a lot of my teachers. There were only two teachers that I really liked. Um, did not have a good college experience at the university. I did afterwards. I went to business school and had a really good experience in business school, which you saw my shorthand notes. Good experience in business school, and then I took computer programming classes. Did really well there. So, um, in my opinion, my art developed because I enjoyed art, not because I was encouraged to do it. Anyway, here's here's an, a car parked in front of some boxes, some trees in the background, another urban sketch, lamp poles, light poles, urban sketch. <laughs> here's that frame that I designed. I could visualize what I wanted, but I did not have the technical ability to build it in wood. And I bought a beautiful, beautiful wood. I don't know whatever happened to that wood, but it was a beautiful wood, and I had all these little pieces going this way, and it was like a double frame. And it was, the measurements, it was skinny on this side and fat on this side. I'm glad I kept that sketch. Here's some more measurements for it. See, here's, I even did a three-dimensional for it. I could visualize it. Here's the sketch of it. See, I could visualize what I wanted, but I did not have the capability. Those big saws scared me. <laughs> I had to cut my hand off. Quick sketch. Here's the frame again. Here's a line drawing. Oh, this brings back memories. Here's one of my college roommates. Looks like we were... She was sitting on a table. I think we were at the laundromat again. Another line drawing. Here's some more of my frame notes. Boy, I really did study that, didn't I? Wow. I think this was a line drawing of my mother. <laughs> she wouldn't pose for me either. It's a little doodle here. Some friends. And I even sketched on paper towels. An older gentleman, an older lady, another older lady, shorthand notes again. Here's a lady, I worked in a nursing home. This was one of the nurses. Here's a young girl eating an ice cream cone. And on the back is a guy sitting at a stool. And here we are at church again, the congregation. I didn't do too bad back then. Some, I think these were flowers of some sort. Shorthand, I can't read my shorthand now. I'm not going to attempt it, but I have a line drawing there. That's why I saved it. Here's another sketch on a paper towel. Fast sketch. Another one. And another one. Yeah. September 11th, 1973. Defects in Lumber. Industrial Arts Lab. August 30th, 1973. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So this is an old school sketchbook. You know what? Well, I will say one more thing. Do what do your passion. I had a lot of people discouraging me from going into art, from being art, from being from working on my art. I didn't listen to them. I was not a happy camper. I enjoyed doing what I enjoyed doing. And uh, I'm glad I didn't listen to them now because it is, it's one of the things that I enjoy the most.
Now, I will not say everybody discouraged me because I did have some encouragement. But my roommates encouraged me a lot. Uh, don't have very good things to say about my teachers, though. <laughs> they were focused on their own careers. I will see you on the next page.